Oh, hell no. I don't even want to play this shit no more. What up, gang? This Kane Zark, Kane Zilligan, Zika Milligan, the villain, villain, trilogy, and we are playing Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. This music is creepy as fuck. I've heard a lot of crazy shit about this game. Also, heard there's above 18 shit in here. So, anything that's too crazy will be censored. I'm gonna just get that out of the way. But, I also heard this game is hard as shit. So, I, I will be honest. I downloaded a mod. Lit, like, it doesn't make the game easier itself, but it gives me saves. Like, I can save now. I can, like, actually use save data. So that, that is what I did do. It gives me more saves because I'm a save whore and I'm going to be real with you. If I get five, if I get knuckle deep in this damn game's pussy and I die and I got to go all the way back to the fucking... What's that shit called? Damn. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll start the game. I'll start the game. Damn. Got mad at me for yapping. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to yap. Okay. Let's see who we got here. We got ex-soldier. Fought in war since he was 13. Range combat. Firearms. Occultist. Creative use of otherworldly powers. Not harmful with offensive skills. Both her abilities are no less impressive when used properly. Doctor. Doctor's skill is mainly focused on curing. Okay. Finding weaknesses. Mechanic. Crafting her own makeshift weapons and traps. Yellow mage. Contrary to priest's belief, yellow mages don't dedicate their lives to worship. Yellow mages use otherworldly powers only for their own benefit. Botanist, damn, she crippled. The botanist knowledge covers a wide variety of plants and herbs. A thug, life in an underground boxing ring has taught the boxer to deal with his bare hands. Journalist, covered wars, coup de tots, and other disasters, picked up various skills to help survive. Persuasion skills definitely not being on the last. Am I only choosing one guy? I'm a very close quarters type of fighter. I'm very, I'm very melee. I think I'm gonna go with the boxer. Shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Kenzil. S and M. I'm not into that shit. Well, just a little bit. Fear and hunger mode though. I always, I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want to go easy mode, but I also don't not. I also don't want to want. I don't also don't want to kill myself. No, don't skip his history. The soothing sound of the rail tracks. You're not, you're not used to such peaceful and tranquil atmosphere. You can't help but let your mind wander. You reminisce about what led, what led you to this point in life. For the majority of your life, you've only known the streets of the Vatican City. This is the first time in your life you're traveling this far from those narrow and crowded alleyways. Things don't look that fancy elsewhere. Traveling is overrated, you think to yourself. In your earliest memories, you remember spending time with your parents. But then suddenly, you just didn't have parents anymore. Damn, this nigga all orphan. You can't remember what happened. But from one point onwards, it was just you and your sister against the world. And your sister died. You were still only 10 years old, but you had to make a living somehow. Hold on. Try to lead an honest life. Your sister's fucking dead. You tried different odd jobs. The only thing in common with all of them was that you eventually messed up and got fired. Still, you were able to save up 10 shillings. I would have had more money if I said burglary. The street schooled you hard, but as you grew older, you noticed that you started to tower over those who bullied you before. Someone try still tried to do you dirty. You were quickly able to give them a taste of your justice. Because of your size and skills in fighting, you started to attract attention of local street gangs that tried to recruit you as their muscle. This never sounded right to you. You have been extorted out of your measly salary too many times. You didn't want to do the same to anyone. But turning down small time criminals only got you into further trouble. Almost every other night you'd end up in street fights. At one point you realized you were doing more fighting than actual work. Not to mention that's where you got most of your money too. You started to consider fighting your job. Maybe it was worth investing into it more. Started to work out more regularly and follow a strict regimen. Footwork. You thought that swift, we gotta be, we gotta be Muhammad Ali. You thought that swift feet would prove useful in a boxing ring. 
It wouldn't matter how hard one will punch if that punch never connects. You spiced up your boxing drills by tying sandbags to your arms and feet. Every night you started to get used to the weights, you doubled the bags. You didn't really feel the change until you dropped the weights and noticed how light and last night light, fuck, lightning fast your movements were without the additional baggage. Your agility, your agility leveled up at least twice during all that. Only twice? You were doing all right in fights, so much as you started to build a little reputation on the streets. In no time you move on to underground boxing rings where there was more money on the table and less danger of the opponent pulling a knife in the middle of a match. While you were busy in the ring, your sister had grown into a beautiful young woman who attracted all kinds of admirers. It would have meant no trouble if it wasn't for your mean reputation. Most low-life thugs on the street knew they'd have to answer to you if they tried anything dodgy. That didn't mean there weren't those who tried. She started to get close with a known mobster, Ricardo Ricardo. He was the heir to the Ricardo branch of the family. The family was an organized body of criminals operating in the Vatican, Vatican City. In all intents and purposes, the family was a mafia, but they also had deep ties to the church, which in turn was running the country, so it was a bit more complicated. Despite being a mobster, Ricardo seemed decent enough. He had a flirtatious and flattering way of speaking in general got along with everyone. He took notice of your skills and tried no casual, tried to casually recruit you to their ranks. You politely declined the offer and he murdered your sister. Since you didn't take the offer, Ricardo had another one on the platter. He proposed he'd hook you up with a real boxing trainer and get you to the next level. You again denied, but your sister insisted that you'd at least try it out. You agreed. Things started to feel more professional the second you stepped into the gym. The trainer, an elderly gentleman who had an impressive record of previous apprentices, was impressed by your raw skills. He thought that the best way to push you further would be to choose where you specialize. Hmm. Evasion. Said Muhammad Ali. I, I, I said Muhammad Ali. Bob and Weave. His method proved effective. Soon you had your first real bout in the ring and won the match with relative Eve. ease. Your sister and Ricardo were there to congratulate you. You continued on with your winning streak. The hype around you was growing slowly. Even you started to believe the hype. Ricardo was able to organize big matches one after another. You started spending more time inside the family quarters with Ricardo and your sister. I don't like where this is going. Without noticing, you had been pulled into the criminal world. What started as helping out a friend became a more frequent occurrence. Soon, soon Ricardo showed his true colors as well. He had been building you up for a faded boxing match. Apparently your next opponent was a former family member who had cut all ties to the organization. Your job was to kill him in the boxing match. You politely declined, but at this point there was no turning back. Ricardo reminded you that he got his that you got your sister back at his flat and he'd feel it in her skin if you didn't comply. You didn't know what to do. Soon you found yourself in the ring with the next family member and the bell rang. He was a tough opponent, but you managed to get the best of him. You were able to counter one of his attacks with a knockout hit. Things moved in slow motion as you saw Ricardo in your corner nodding with a sly smile. You followed up your hit with another, and another, and another. You didn't even stop when the man hit the ground. The referee had to pull you away with all he got before you stopped. The damage had already been done. You had killed a person. You were devastated by all this, but kept it all inside. This was only the beginning. Ricardo had plenty of dirty work for you to do, and at this point had plenty of leverage too. Your sister being the last resort every time you hesitated. Things had to change. I feel like if we kill this nigga, what's gonna happen is like, I feel like if we kill this nigga, what's gonna happen is like, we're gonna get him and our sister, we gotta get out. We can't like, we can't risk really pissing them off and putting our sister at risk. We just gotta get the fuck out of there. So flee the country. You learned escape plan. You couldn't find your sister anywhere, calling her telephone, nothing. 
You started to suspect Ricardo had suspected something like this and sent your sister somewhere. You were left with no choice but to confront Ricardo. Ricardo was wary of you. He seemed to sense your killing intent from miles away. And that's why he avoided seeing you alone to the best of his abilities. He was too cocky to consider you a threat though, as if he had you under his thumb. That proved to be a grave mistake for him. You were to meet Ricardo and a dozen of his henchmen at a local club and discuss one of your many tasks. You have been waiting for an opportunity to see him alone, but that opportunity never presented itself. Fair enough. The moment you got to a punching distance, Ricardo had a split second to realize what was happening before you knocked him off his feet. The little rat tried to slither away, but you grabbed him by his throat and kept slamming him on the floor until he stopped moving. In your rage, you lifted him up and threw him over the railing. He fell from the second floor to the center of the club's dance floor. You saw him fall head first to the ground. You had succeeded in what you set out to do. Getting out of the club was secondary. You had to fight through a mob of Ricardo's goons. Somehow you made it out from the back door with only minor injuries and ran as fast as you could. You ran away from the crime scene. The problem now was that the family and the law enforcement of the city were after you. Just then you received a telephone call from your sister. She had been sent to Ricardo's summer villa in the country of Valen some days prior. You explained the situation to her and the two of you decided to meet up in the country of Rondon. There was no possibility of you living in Vatican City anymore. You had to act fast before the police would catch you. What did you take with you before leaving the city? I say medical guns. You can fight for food. Like you can find food around. You can fight for food. But medicine, we're going to be fighting a lot. So we need medicine. Took two blue vials and a cloth fragment. You took the first train that left to sit to cut the country. The destination was an obscure little town called Prehevel. I'm a country of Bohemia. You had no idea where that place was, but you figured you could plan your trip better once you got there. Save your character history? Yeah. Don't skip the intro. We gotta watch that. What is that? What the fuck was that? You feel like someone was watching you while you slept. I look away for two fucking seconds and I see some bullshit. I feel like this is one of those games that does not reward curiosity. Like if I'm not, excuse me. A yellow vial. It's one of those games where it's like, I feel like it's one of those games where it's like, curiosity does not get rewarded. If I fuck around and start clicking shit, I'm gonna die. I don't know your boys. You already know, bro. I, I click on fucking everything. A bear trap. Huh? The wall is something feels off. What the hell is going? Nigga, is that the persona, the, the persona butterfly? Oh shit. Workshop. This place is not the train anymore. You! I've been looking for you everywhere. Cause where do you think you ran off to? Don't you understand the hurry we're in? I, I don't understand the fuck. The eyes of the janitor bulge out of their sockets as an expression intensifies. No one expects you to. You're a stupid fucking human after all. Now get your ass back to the workbench. It's your last chance. Next time is punishing time. Nigga, what, what do you want me to do? What? You're supposed to assemble new cubes, of course. As for how, figure it out yourself. If you're not capable of that much, you're beyond hope and useless in every sense of the word. Who the fuck is this nigga talking to? What you googling at? Nothing to see here, eyes on the cube. Work out, rip those eyes out your pretty face. Hold the fuck up. Who is this? Assemble cubes. Uh, 
I made a cube. Hey, bro. Nigga, I'm making the fucking cubes. The girl in pink is trying to get your attention. Are you sure you should be getting up? Where do you think you're going? Is his dick out? Ugh. I gotta attack body parts. Fuck up that arm he's got. He's got a he's got a weapon in that arm. Fuck that shit up first. I don't want him to hit me. I don't want to get hit with that. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to get hit with that shit. Punch this nigga in the balls. I know that shit got to hurt. Knock that nigga head off. I missed, all right. Like I said, knock that nigga head off. I was victorious. Nigga. Oh, don't touch none of that shit. Don't touch none of that shit. Where shot he go? Your head hurts. You feel like you're losing your mind. Why? Bro, what the fuck is going on? No! No! What even, what even happened? Is that the fucking Zelda moon? Ah, there you are. A mysterious person greets you in a monotonous voice. Got you pulled out from that nasty place. You were going deep into that rabbit hole. Now you are safe under the beautiful green hue of the moon. Welcome to the moon tower. Uh, thanks for getting me out of there. You are welcome. Since our words cannot possibly reach my master, I speak in his behalf. And who might my master be? Well, for now, let's just say he is uh, the, the delinquent one. <laughs> Rather, the trickster moon god. And me. You can call me Perko. I am just a humble servant of his celestial majesty. You are the dreamer. He is the dream. My master has invited 14 of you to join us in this jubilee of cosmic proportions. 14 candidates, but only one true victor. The Festival of Termina is upon us. The fuck is the Festival of Termina? It's a festival to give you, the humans, a peak to grandeur and a chance to reach for illustrious heights. The festival is the festival to end all festivals. This must be all, this must all be very confusing to you. I won't burden you with any more information at this very moment. Just head towards the tower. That is all you need to know for now. I will gladly answer questions once you get there. But until then, let us meet again under the moonlight. I don't like this nigga. He's scary. You wake up suddenly. Was it all just a dream? The train, it seems to have stopped. Mm. It couldn't have been a dream. All this shit that I was touching on is touched on. So that must be the best course of action for now. You interrupt the discussion. Oh, the big oh the big Chad got up. Uh who are you? Who are you? What's going on? You must be just as clueless as the rest of us. The train left us all here and as the outskirts of the city. All the train personnel, everyone, gone, no explanations. That's odd. Mm, a mystery, all right. We decided to stay here and wait a while. 
Someone has to come come for the train sooner or later. So if you're not in a hurry, I recommend just taking a seat inside and trying to relax. Maybe we can introduce ourselves. Sure, why not? My name is Marina. My name's Olivia. Lovely to meet you all. You can call me August. Woman, Karen Saw, journalist on duty. Hey, I'm Henrik. And this mystic gentleman here is Osa. It, it was Osa, right? Silly man. I'm pretty sure it was. We were the first to wake up. Before you came out, we were talking about this. You saw a peculiar nightmare as well, didn't you? How did you know that? Everyone saw the same dream before waking up on the train. The moon, the girl in the pink dress, the festival of Termina. It all felt too real to pass off as just a dream. Not this talk again. We should have asked that army pig, that Bremen pig. He was, he was in way too much of a hurry to leave. I bet he knew something. It smells like a sadistic army experiment. Sounds exactly like something Bremen army would be a part of. They had similar hallucinogens experimenting on war prisoners. Now that the war is over, they have to get their guinea pigs elsewhere. I wish I had your capacity and feist, but I really have a hard time believing every conspiracy theory floating around. I'm a journalist. I've covered wars, you know. I don't need some flaky eye patch foreigner telling me what's possible and what's not. You haven't seen what I've seen in a beast pat during these past few years. I've covered wars too, you know. All men and women for the past decade have covered. All men and women for the past decade or two has covered wars. What's your point again? I've seen my fair share of hallucinogens with the doctor, and I can tell from firsthand experiments that there are no known chemicals that create visions that vivid. Especially visions that are identical with this many people. Fuck you. Feel the tension rising between these two people. Uh, I take it we're done here? As much as I don't like you, I don't have time to play happy campers with you people. I have a job to do. Which way is the city? Look, up there. Look up there. Up the top, up top the foot. Fuck! Look! Up there, over the top, over the forest top. Can you see the tower standing erect in the mist? That tower marks the center of Preheville. You can hike through the forest to get there. It's not that far away. Man, I'm not hiking through a damn forest. I'll walk, I'll walk, I'll walk on the fucking train tracks before I hike through a fucking forest. All right then, if I see anyone, I'll let them know you guys are waiting here. Have fun finding a scoop from that sleepy town. You know where to find us if anything comes up. Hmm. Huh, should I go with her or should I stay behind with everyone else? I feel like if I went with her, that'd be very useful. Cause remember she has persuasion skills. That would be very helpful. And I think she can identify weaknesses too. Or is that the doctor? I don't remember. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. What are you going to do? Wait here, I guess. I'm not in a hurry. M Mon... Monologue. What is it that you want? What do you think about the dream? It was interesting. What about you? What did you think of it? It was, must have been a premonition. A vision perhaps, but a premonition. 
I'm not so sure about that. Would you look at that behind? Are you dead serious? If you keep that up, I'll come up with a better use for this wrench. How about making yourself useful? Maybe I'll do just that. Wait, just wait and see, Ginger. Yes, go make me proud. Sexual harassment is crazy. I think I should get inside. The mist is creeping me out. <laughs> Attack! Attack! I can't say it. I keep hiccuping. Attack her! Talk about the dream. Oh, yes, of course. What do you think the dream means? Hmm. It's got something to do with this place. Everything does feel like a dream, doesn't it? There's an ethereal feel to everything. There's something more. Ah, never mind. Nice day, isn't it? Bit foggy? What brings you here? Ah, uh, nothing much. A twist of fate, perhaps? I'm just passing through. Oh. Nigga, are you running from me? Nigga, are you running from me? Where the fuck are you going? Yeah, that's not my that's not my damn business. Then again, these army barricades suggest that there are something, that there is something to that crazy theory of hers. Nah, something doesn't seem right here. What do you plan to do? Head out too. There's no telling how long it takes for someone to come for the train. Besides, the city is right around the corner. Oh, hi. We weren't introduced before. I'm Abella. Nice to meet you. I'm a bit busy right now. I'm trying to check if I could get the train in working order again. It's not that just the train stopped, but for some reason it won't start up either. What are you doing? Just checking up on things. Okay, what a sweetheart. The fuck? The sleepy one. What are you doing? Just felt a little artistic. Actually, I hate drawing. I'm really bad at it. Luckily, ritual circles don't require the same skills. What do you think about the dream? Oh yeah, it was cool. There's something bothering me though. No one talked much about the moon. That rapist smile will leave a scar on my subconscious for sure. Maybe it's just because I've been studying this stuff for the majority of my life, but I think it was a vision meant for us to decipher. This seems obvious, you know? That's why I have a hard time believing the conspiracy stuff the other guys were talking about. You gotta be more specific. I'm too complicated for just a few lines of dialogue. Are you gonna stay and wait? Probably not. I'll be heading towards the town soon if nothing happens here. I see. Recognize this man. He is Caligura, also known as Count Drago, one of the, from the rival branch in the family. No idea what he's doing here. Could he be on to you? The fuck do you want? Leave. That's not my business. Hey, what's this? Hmm. Don't eat that shit. It's my hometown. I'm originally from Preheville. But I never admitted in a conversation that I was from such a depressing and godforsaken small town. So you'll only make yourself look stupid if you go spreading the word. Where are you returning from? From studies. I've been studying occultism for about six years in the Vatican City. Feeling like slitting my wrist right about, right about now. I'm not exactly a fan of Prehavili and melancholy. Melancholy. Oh shit, he's gone. Book of Enlightenment and Preheville map. W, I got the Book of Enlightenment. I can heal. Not heal, I can save. Radiates light in every color of the spectrum. Journey has just begun as if your existence since this very moment, watching someone else entirely. Feel a perspective shift in your surroundings as if everything was to shrink, or perhaps you were to ascend higher. Better understanding of itself. Yeah, I, I I think I said it, but 
I downloaded a mod that lets me have unlimited saves. Because what I'm not about to fucking do is go through a bunch of progress, die. I'm the type of motherfucker where it's like, if I play for a fucking hour and I lose an hour of progress, I'll just never touch the damn game again. I done saved, so I'm feeling a little more, you know, I feel like I can explore a bit. You know, just see what's out here. I don't really want to. But I guess I can. What's here? The mist slowly creeps from the deeper woods. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is that guy? That's a salary man. Oh shit. What is that? What on earth is going on? They're dead. Should we report about this to someone? The local police? Hold on. All right. First things first, let's go back, right? Let's go back and tell everybody. If like if there's some weird shit like this going on, the last thing we should do is like try to proceed on our lonesome. So let's tell everyone the situation, right? Oh shit. Oh shit. Actually use it as something to draw with. Oh, okay, they're still here. What's that circle over there? A little something I carved out of boredom. Leaving my mark on the train, just a normal Monday in the life of a vandal. Actually, it's the perfection circle. It's used to worship certain elder gods. It come it might come in handy if you know what to do with it. He'd get here as soon as possible. Just came to check up on you. Oh, what? That's so sweet. We got in after the mist got thicker. I don't mind waiting for just a little while longer. Actually, there's a reason why I can't exactly leave this train. I have a condition where my legs don't function properly. I spare you the details, but suffice to say, it makes the situation we're in even more troublesome. Don't you have a wheelchair? Yes, you would think I'd have one, right? But to make things more complicated, there was going to be someone picking me up with the wheelchair. Too bad someone didn't expect me to be in the, here in the middle of this forest. Can't make things too easy. What the fuck? Bitch, I saw you. Not my business, so why should I mind it? You feel me? Why should I mind it? It's not my business. Why should I mind it? I really didn't want to leave them behind, but I really got no choice. I just got to go. And I really just, honestly, I really just didn't want to go by myself. Nigga, this shit's scary. I'm finna come back and he's dead. I know he's still alive. Huh. A hacked off leg. Oh, shit. Ritual carved here. I'm scared to just like, like just turn the, like just to turn my back on people, bro. I don't like, I don't know how, I don't know how busy they get in this game. Oh my goodness. Outskirts of Prehevel. Oh shit. <gasps> Termina is upon us. Nigga, get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me, nigga. The fuck? Get the fuck away from me. Is he gone? 
You know what? Damn! The woodsman. Don't even worry about it, bro. I'll beat your ass. All right, first things first. Get rid of that shit. Yeah. Nigga, what? Is this nigga whore? Nah, get rid of his dick. He gonna do some shit to me, bro. He's trying to do something to me. Bitch ass. All right, now knock his head off. I missed, okay. We fine, bro, we fine. Knock his head off. Damn. How about if I beat him? Oh yeah, that's gonna be important. We need to like, we need to make sure these fuckers die. You saw that too, it really happened. Those people were killed. Looks like it. This trip has been cursed from the start. Looks like it. Yo, we really gotta get back and tell them, bro. Like, don't, don't, like, don't hit me with no bullshit. Like, ah, uh, you can't tell them because they're actually not here anymore. Like, don't do that shit. Let me tell them what's going on. Dog, you will never believe what just happened. Wait, what happened? I don't know what to make of this. The mist already carried a foul odor and terrible sound. That's why we got inside. I'm worried about the others. Would you go look for them? Then they've gotten far yet. Tired of waiting. Tetraphobia, what is that? Is that like the fear of dicks or some shit? I mean, the scariest thing I saw in this game so far was that there was that woodsman that had his cock out. Damn. What did you do to... I'm, I don't want to fight that goat. Distant screams and ramblings. You're not alone. What do you mean? Distant screams and ramblings. What? what the fuck is going on here? Bloody rich. They used to have these in the olden time, but you've never seen one in person. The smell inside of the sacrificed corpse is repulsive. Bitch, get away from me, bitch. Get away. All right, then fight, bitch. I promise you don't want. Oh, damn. She got knives in both hands. We gonna have to go weave game on this bitch. Fuck that shit up. Damn that shit hurt. Fuck that shit up. Get rid of her weapons. We can't let her do nothing. Knock that head off. We missed. What's she finna do? Tackle? Ain't shit. Knock that bitch head off. Damn, how you missing so much? Bro, you about to die to bullshit. Knock her fucking head off, nigga. Knock her fucking head off, nigga. Fuck is you doing? If you don't knock her damn head off right fucking here. Get the fuck out. She was beating my ass. How the fuck was you missing so much? Make this bitch, make this bitch hit it. No, no, no! Oh yeah, get your ass on somewhere. These residents are evil. Oh wait, I just thought about it. I got equips. I 
just thought about it though. I don't. I mean, going for the head, like of course that's an instant kill, but I don't really need to go for the head, huh? Like even then, if I go for the body, what the hell are they gonna do? Right? They have to. They're gonna die if I kill their body. If I kill their legs and their arms. If I kill their legs after I kill their arms, how are they gonna attack? Right? Right? Let's let's get rid of the legs. Hit that torso. Beat her. Do it again. All right, search her. Gotta make sure that bitch dead, bro. Striking smell of mold. A bloody toilet hole. Uh, semen too? Who the fuck was nutting in that shit? Who the hell is eating and what the hell are they eating? Hey, bro, I'll box you for that fish. I'll box you for that fish. Oh, hell no. Nah. Knock that arm off. I'm not letting you use that shit on me. Oh! Oh, my eyes! He used that shit on me, bro. <laughs> Laters. That's adorable. That bitch gonna die. Yo, nasty ass arm on somewhere. Brick, bitch. Brick, bitch. Get your nasty ass arm on somewhere. Get your nasty ass torso on somewhere. And then we finna beat the bitch. Make sure she's dead. Then we finna search the bitch. Give me all your shillings. You don't see me. You don't fuck. I keep getting stuck on shit. Put that arm down. You a dickhead. What you mean heads and tails? Shit, heads. You a slut. Fucking ouchie wowzers. Hit this nigga. Damn, kill this nigga. Why won't he die? Shit. Save, little bro. Save, bro. Man, stomp this nigga out. Fuck you, bitch. Okay, first, let's try making our way to the mayor's manor. That's where we need to focus first. Let's try getting there before anything else. Atmosphere is getting heavier and heavier. Why the fuck is this open? I don't know. I look like an ex exploration ass nigga. I look like an explorative motherfucker. Oh shit. Is my leg still bleeding? Shut your ass up. Oh shit. You can't come over here, pussy. You can't come, that is zombie. Air is heavy, moist and musky. Should I eat his ass? Get this bitch ass nigga. Yeah! I got 
They ain't gonna hit me with tails all that many times in a row. It's gotta be heads. Exactly. I'm the GOAT. Hit his torso. Weave, nigga. Now hit his torso again. Weave, nigga. Now hit his torso again. Weave, nigga. Oh, never mind. It don't matter though, because we finna hit his torso again. Ain't he dead? What we do after we kill somebody? We stomp his bitch ass out. All right, search. Severed arm and leg. This nigga saved every five seconds. He must be ass at these type of games. Nigga, I am. <laughs> Tails. A thorned ring. What the hell does that do? Makes steady miss steady flow of poison to its wearer. Steady flow makes one immune to more potent toxins. Nigga, take this shit off. Got a bone saw. I don't want that shit. Matter of fact. Who the fuck gave who the fuck gave me this shit? I don't want this shit either. You good? Someone there. Are you okay? Uh Oh, that's the army man. That's that army dude, ain't it? Oh, we are, right at the manor. Shut the fuck up! Go inside this bitch. Did someone see us? A far look convincing upon closer, it's crude. Book of fears. Oh, let's look at that. Cause I'm pretty sure he has a fear, tetraphobia, right? Let's see what the book of fears has. Phobias, nosophobia, blah, 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 erotophobia, genitals, monsters and malformations. So we're scared of monsters and malformations. Pretty unfortunate considering the fact that we're fighting them every five damn What happened? Nigga, are we fighting a door? Bro, get the fuck out. I mean, if I'm looking for if the boys in here, I doubt he'd be behind a locked door. Considering the fact he'd have to unlock the door first. Or maybe the door was unlocked and he locked it. What a predicament I find myself in. For all my sake. You startled me. Don't go sneaking up on me like that. Now, if you'd excuse me. Man. You don't see this shit going on here? We need to stick together. Talking about some damn if you excuse me. You ought to be a fool. Eyes are darting around, he's distressed. Are you okay? Can you hear that? You're gonna hear a clock, but I can't see the damn thing. I can smell rosemary and garlic. I'm starving. Gazing right through me. You fucking slut. I can't step on that, can I? He's gonna attack me. See, I knew he was a bitch. I knew he was a bitch. Bro, snap out of it! Oh? Oh? Sorry about that. I don't know what got into me. First, I was just lost in my thoughts, but next, those thoughts consumed me. There's something wrong about this place. 
I came here to find something to eat. Not just for me, of course. Food for the people at the train. Figured that could be my way of helping everyone in this situation. You saw the food at the dinner table. This used to be a mayor's manor. He must have stashed all the food somewhere. Help me find this food storage and we'll be out of here. All right, nigga, move. How did you get here? It's dangerous outside. The same way you got here. What kind of question is that? But you're right, it is dangerous. What the hell is wrong with the people of this forsaken place? I don't want to turn my back on him. He's going to do some weird shit to me. Guess I'm fighting a door. I'm going to end my life. Ain't no way a door is too strong. Is this the day I kill myself? I can always come back to it. Yo, bro. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, there's somebody in there if you want to eat them. Damn. Should I beat a dead horse? Footprints. Yeah, someone was... Y'all having dinner? Can I join y'all? I'm f I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. Hit his torso. Hit the torso. Wife, wife, I know I just killed your husband, but chill out. Oh no, that's his son. Go for heads. Go for heads. Fuck! I gotta get lucky as hell. Kill this nigga. Dog. What the fuck? I don't even have any. I ate the lag. What can I say, man? It happens, you know? Would anyone be kind enough to, you know, lend me um, a, a cloth? Got a bone saw. I don't really need that. I don't have anything. I swear that thing just moved. I don't really have anything to saw off, so I don't exactly need that. What I could really use right now. <laughs> what I could really use right now. Is possibly some legs. No, if anybody would be kind hearted enough to give me some. But I'd be grateful for that. Look, let's just get the hell out of here. Let's get back to the train, bro. We were never built for this in the first place. Bro, leave me alone! Bro, please. Bro, please! Bro, I can't fight anymore. <laughs> leave me alone! You know what? Me and old girl, we twins now, bro. We twins. I mean, she still got her legs, but neither of us can use our legs anymore, bro. We twinning now. <laughs> we, tw we twinning. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. How the hell does this occur? Imagine not having saves, like unlimited saves, right? And then just getting caught like this. Like getting stuck like this. Can you even continue the game like this? Help. 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 Bro, attack, you can't tell, no, I'm not all right. My legs are gone. 
Go look. My legs are gone. I don't have legs. I don't have legs anymore. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to go look for them? I don't have fucking legs. I don't have fucking legs. I don't have fucking legs. Who are you? No one. Just a lonely caterpillar waiting to shed her skin. Lame ass. How am I supposed to play? What do I do?